Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek on the book that I'm reading right now, which is Benevolent Hybrid Reptilian Beings, Treb's Race. And I just wanted to give you a little um, taste of a little piece of what it's about or what it says. Yes, let us begin with the evolution of the soul. Consciousness is an energy that is most powerful to any degree of electric or power that you can see or perceive. The consciousness comes directly from the non-physical world. This is consciousness. This consciousness is perceived as what you would think of as a soul or the higher self of one. This consciousness decides to go into the physical existence. It does this for a reason, to experience. The physical existence is a great existence. The soul decides to do this for the reasons to understand and to have the experience of doing everything within a physical matter. It is much like if you are on a ladder. The highest form of consciousness is the creator. What would you call one who makes all? He is not just one who makes all, but he is all. It is everything and everything is one. So to give this consciousness the desired, what is the word, the desired feelings or experiences of everything that there is, he branches off his consciousness into several smaller parts of consciousness. And this continues to go down into the lowest form of consciousness, which would be what you would consider non-physical things, being the rocks that you see, the fire that is burning, the electricity. All of these things are considered to be elemental, and this is what <clears throat> most see as the lowest form of consciousness. This is on the lowest level of the evolution, or want to experience everything there is to experience in this level does not take very long to do. Being elemental involves existence and only existence and feelings of energy. This is not a very long time for you then to have to feel this. So the existence from this level of consciousness to the next is a very short time. And the next level of consciousness is one that you might think of as the living. And it goes from very small parts of life that are considered to be primitive in bacterias and animals the small animals all the way up to the larger or more smart animals, and it is everything that is in between. Because there is such a variety within this consciousness, because there is such a great degree of difference from the smallest, which is the single cell bacteria or the single cell amoeba, as you see, and all the way up to the dogs or monkeys or any of these animals that you consider to be a higher grade intelligence. This is a great degree. This is, when, this is why when you see on the evolution of your earth that you see a great degree from the beginning of life to humanity. If humanity is looked at as a part of the history of the earth in a progressive time or linear time set, it is but one second of a very long period. It is only the blink of an eye, so to say. And this is the next level of consciousness as to be self-aware, to understand that you have a spirit or a soul. To be self-aware within reality and consciousness, this is the degree of which you are at now. You are only at the ending stages of this awareness. It is not as long as period of either of the two, but still a long time for your race to become ready to move to the next step. Within this, you have varying degrees of life. You have from the beginning of your time, what you might see as the caveman, anywhere this is all the way to the present day, and you can see the advances within a race due to the time line that is here. You can see the beginning of life being very short with not very many things to do. As I have explained this, and now you live the longer lives because you have, no, because you have more things to do, more connections to make with others. This is a higher degree of population within this density or within this time period, so you must make more relations. You must experience more in that life that there is to experience then you take the logical way you have advanced greatly within a short period of time. This also goes to show the willingness to want more, the willingness to want to further yourselves. Unfortunately, as some of you noticed, this technology can go into both ways because you are of opposite polarities and because you still have the good and the bad, as you would see this, as negative or positive within your one being. It is hard to have the conflict within yourself to make your decisions in which way you want to go with everything in life. But technology is one of the greatest parts of this. Some see that technology can be built for great reasons to help others. Some use this for the bad ways, the destruction, the killings, the wars. And this is the fight that you are having now. This is towards the end of this for that reason alone. You are in your last stage of your evolution so that you can work these problems out to which a degree of your problems are. It is not uncommon to have a struggle within. 
And this is what gives you the daily or day-to-day -day problems within yourselves. But let me assure you that this is not always, this will not always be this way, and this is going to greatly depend on yourselves. If you are loving and willing to help others, you will progress into what you might see is in the positive way. In positive ways of loving, the positive way of sharing, to be one not only with your surroundings of nature, but with the community of the fellow man. And if you cannot get past this part of yourself and you can only love yourself, then it will be much like it is now. It will be more energetic in a way. You will have more issues to deal with loving yourself. Other technologies still come either way. And you use this in the progression of positivity or negativity. As you work through this, you develop what we call fourth density. This is where your soul consciousness is greatly improved or greatly added onto. As I explained to you, the difference in the amount of consciousness that is given from the soul to you will be more increased than the way of a small animal to you now. This is the great amount of consciousness that is different than this. So this explains to you how much more of your soul you can use in the next density. This next density is very harmonious and a positive way of this. In the positive density of the fourth, it is much greatly harmonious. This is where you learn to use your heart to the fullest extent. This is where you are able to love all, even the ones that you see as negative or ones who do not mean the best for all and only themselves. You are still able to love them and receive them and accept them. Many of you are working now on this. Many of you are trying to find out all of these issues that are with you inside. And once you accept love, you see to what great benefit this is. And in this fourth density, you will continue your evolution of technology in the positive, where you will be in the technology and raise this very greatly to a degree that is beyond some individual's imagination. Some would express the difference in being a hundred times more better than it is here. Things happen for a reason, and in the fourth density, you begin to see this. You begin to see that everything becomes harmonious. There are no needs to try to make things happen because they do happen. They are meant to happen as your soul desires them. And the progress of this soul into the next density that you go is in the density where I am now. And this is the fifth density. This density to us is very different than the fourth. Not because we do use the heart to love all. This is something that is mastered within the fourth density. But this is more of a progression of learning, learning all that we are able to learn and being able to do this for the benefit of all others. So we do this. This is why when I speak of the jobs that we have, I mean to say there are responsibilities to us because we decide to do this to help others. We take this very seriously. I spoke to you of the war that we have had in the fourth density before we came to the fifth density. This war was a great war that was with the ancient reptilians, and this war was one of that one of one of that put us in place to evolve into the fifth density. The reason that this helped us evolve is because before the war, we were all unloving, but we were not taking things very seriously. We were only doing things that were fun for us and in things that were of love for others. And this is not bad, but this is where we were at. And because of this war, we understood that of the destruction of our planet, that we all had to, that had all, we all had to have specific duties, that we all had to have specific jobs that we do to help others in a more stable manner. Even though we picked the odd jobs, even though we all had everything that we needed to be done, this made this imprinted into us even more. So we learned. We try to learn more technologies. We try to understand the workings of the universe even better than we do in the fourth density because we continue to learn. And this is where I am now in the next density that is above us. This is specifically for our race. We do split the density that most consider to be fifth into two different parts because they are so very different. Some consider a non-physical existence to be in the sixth density, but this, is not the, the, but this is not the way that we have this. There is one more step after ours before the non-physical existence begins. And this is what is greatly, and this is greatly for the reasons of the things that we are doing. The greatest reason between the fifth and the sixth for us is the ability to not only love and learn, but to explore more areas. Usually we stay within the galaxy. This is where we feel that our home is. This is where we feel that is more important to help others. In the sixth density, there begins to have more traveling outside of the galaxies. We have more meetings with other races. There are certain laws that dictate specific galaxies. Not laws in this way, for there is only one law in the universe, but as in specific leadership areas. There are different ones per galaxy. These are the ones that we use that are outside of the galaxy. This is the connection that we make with the sixth. The sixth density is about a more about a widely spread communication with other races. 
that are not only in our galaxy alone, and this is the main difference. Some races see no difference in this, but this is important to our race because going outside of the galaxy is something that is not done at the beginning of what you would see as the fifth density perhaps, or in the fifth density in our way of seeing this. After the sixth density is over, it comes back to the non-physical existence. This is where your soul goes back to. This is where you are able to understand every existence that you have had. This is where you are able to perceive everything. In one way, it is said that you are plugged back into the full existence, all creation to everything in physical and non-physical existence. This is where you re-emerge with your soul. When you live your life and say, how can I re-emerge into my soul? I am my soul. But the life that you live now is one small portion of your soul. When I speak of growing consciousness with every step of growth that you take, it is because you use more of your soul in this existence. As different from fourth to fifth, you use much more of your soul. In the difference from fifth to sixth, you use more of your soul, but you never use all of this. The way that you understand time is not the true way of time. The time is not a solid linear idea. It is one that is flexible and it is sliding in all directions. So you are able to see all of this when you get into the higher densities. But this is important to understand because in the soul's way of seeing this, all existence that you have happens right now. It is not about previous lives or past lives or future lives. They are all lives that are existing now. And this is hard for one in, one in your density to understand or to see sometimes, but this is the true nature of what it is. And this is why you do not have all of your soul in the one consciousness. Further on throughout, you begin to manifest yourself into physical reality once you have integrated into that seventh density. And there are many levels you do this with. In physical existence, you will become what is equivalent in the physical existence to a star. Sometimes your consciousness spreads throughout several stars. Once you evolve throughout this non-physical at this physical manifestation of your existence, you are able to grow consciousness into complete galaxies. And this does not and this does not happen soon. This happens over stretches of what in your time seems to be billions of years. So you grow your consciousness still in the non-physical existence. The point that I'm making here is this. It is not that you're existing just to exist. This is not a game. This is the evolution of your soul, the evolution of you as a spiritual, physical, non-physical, and energetic being. All of the evolution that is within this is from your soul. The days that you see hard times coming or the days you see or feel that you are disconnected, I want to assure you that you are not disconnected at all. You are always a part of all that will be and all that is now. The only difference that you will experience is, is how much closer to this that you feel. Every density, it, be, it becomes easier to feel this connection. When you get into non-physical, you have this existence and you feel this and even throughout the non-physical, while you manifest yourself into the physical, you understand more. You understand and you feel more of the connection of the creator. I want you all to know that when you feel hopeless and you feel that things will not work out, this is part of your growth. This is why you feel this way. It is because you must. But when, but when to start to use your heart to truly love, and when you start to understand that you are part of all this, all of this, that you are the same as all of the things that you see as bigger than you, it becomes much easier to handle this. It becomes much easier to accommodate these feelings and know that there is hope. This is all I wish you to understand. This is what I want all of you to experience, the connection that you do have. This is what I wish to share for today.